President William Ruto's recent actions have sparked a division of opinions among Kenyans, leaving some wondering what the future holds for the fifth president of Kenya. Just a short while ago, President Ruto and his administration paid a visit to his hometown of Sugoi, bearing bags filled with essential food items to celebrate Christmas with his fellow villagers. Now, the crowd of villagers gathered as they anticipated to receive handouts from the fifth president of Kenya. It is only fair to give credit where it's due, and Ruto has certainly demonstrated his care and concern for his people. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba tunabadilisha vile ya kuendesha mambo ya matibabu Kenya. Ndiyo tuakikishe ya kwamba hakuna mtu atauza mali yake tena ili kulipa gharama ya hospitali watu wengi mtu anaenda hospitali hapa rifaro leldoret bili na kuja milioni moja, milioni mbili, milioni tatu, inauzwa ngombe inauzwa shamba inauzwa plot inauzwa nini ndio iende ilipiwe hospitali nimesema hata kama wewe ni mtu huna mali kila mkenya kwa mara ya kwanza kwa sababu tumepitisha sheria wengine wametupeleka eh, kotini lakini tumepitisha sheria kuanzia mwaka ujao kila mtu atapata bima ya afya kila mtu hata yule wewe huna pesa ya kulipa tutakupatia bima ya afya na tutalipa kama serikali wale saa hii muko na NHIF si watu hapa watu wako na, na NHIF hebu nione wale wako na NHIF hapa bas nyinyi ambaye mko na NHIF na mnalipa shilingi 500 sawa tumesema tuta assess kama mapato yako iko chini kidogo tutakupunguzia hiyo 500 utaanza kulipa 300 however what has raised eyebrows is the contrasting approach taken by his deputy president regarding Gashagwa who hails from the central region of Kenya hello my name is chief okuzo from plug tv Unlike Ruto's surprise Christmas gifts to his hometown, neither Gashagwa nor other prominent figures from the central Kenya region who are close to President William Ruto such as Ndindi Nyoro, Anwaiguru and Kimani Ichungwa seem to have extended similar gestures to their constituents. A perusal of their social media profiles offers no indication of any such generosity as President William Ruto. Not unless they decided to give out gifts to their people but refused to share the photos on their social media pages. But we know the Kenya Kwanza government whenever they do something that is worth applause they must share on their social media pages. But unfortunately, we can't see Kimani Chungwa, Ndindi Nyoro, Rigathi Gashagwa or Anwaiguru giving handouts to their people. Now, this noticeable absence of gifts and gestures for their own people has left many Kenyans questioning their motives. Why have they seemingly ignored their own constituents while President Ruto remembered his hometown? Now, the only political figure who appears to have echoed a similar gesture as William Ruto towards the central Kenya region is former President Uhuru Kenyatta. He generously gifted 1 million Kenyan shillings to the residents of Juja as a Christmas gift. And even visited a children's home to celebrate with the young residents during this festive season. But the big question is, why did these leaders who are close to William Ruto and they come from the central part of Kenya refused to share gifts with their people? I don't know maybe waliamua kupeana lakini wakaamua kwa watu waweka picha but is it by coincidence at wamepeana na wote wakoso kuonyesha picha at wamepeana handouts What are your thoughts why do you think they refused why do you think kumekuwa na hiyo difference kubwa Leave your thoughts on our comment section That is it for now thanks for watching Let's see you next time bye bye